आई एम डॉक्टर हितेंद्र कुमार गर्ग वर्किंग एज ए सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इन गैस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड हेपेटोलॉजी इन अपोलो हॉस्पिटल्स टुडे विल स्पीक अबाउट द अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस वॉट आर दी कॉजेज ऑफ द अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस वॉट आर दी सिम्टम्स ऑफ द अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस वॉट इफ वी लेफ्ट एंड ट्रीटेड वॉट इट डेवलप्स दी कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड वॉट आर दी प्रिवेंशन हाउ टू प्रिवेंट दी अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस एंड इट्स कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड वॉट आर दी ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन अवेलेबल वॉट इज अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस इज द क्रॉनिक इन्फ्लेमेटरी बावल डिसीज इन विच द इन्फ्लेमेशन हैपन और अकर इन द इंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक स्पेशली इन द लार्ज बावल आइलियम एंड द रेक्टम हाउ डज इट अकर अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस इज अ जेनेटिक और ऑटो इम्यून डिसीज बट सर्टेन इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स लाइक इफ ए पेशेंट डेवलप ए चाइल्ड हुड इन्फेक्शन सीरम वाइटामिन डी थ्री डेफिशेंसी और पेशेंट्स दोज हु लेक द ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग दे आर आर मोर प्री डिस्पोज फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस कैन इट बी रिवर्स्ड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट कैन इट बी रिवर्स टू ए नॉर्मल कोलॉन ऑफकोर्स नॉट यू कैन बिकॉज इट्स ए जेनेटिक डिसीज यू कैन कंट्रोल इट यू कॉन्ट रिवर्स इट यू कैन कंट्रोल विद द सर्टेन मेडिसिंस to a normal level patient can have a normal lifestyle but you can can't control you can't reverse to a normal level without the drugs what are the symptoms and how it is detected symptoms of a uh, ulcerative colitis as i told it's a chronic inflammatory bowel disease where the inflammation occur in the mucosa of the large Uh, intestine most commonly so the most common symptoms initial symptoms you can see that there is a watery diarrhea there is a bloody stools you can find that the loss of protein weight loss malnutrition swelling of the feet sometimes you can have ascites and if we left untreated patient may develops the stricture or patient develops the cancer of the large intestine what are the treatment options available if we uh, talk about the uh, treatment of ulcerative colitis the first and the form uh, the important one is the lifestyle changes the lifestyle is the balanced diet balanced diet means one should avoid the raw vegetables one should avoid the raw fishes one should avoid the oysters and then one should avoid the painkillers especially the nsaids and we talk about the drugs then the misocol there are certain drugs misocol then the biologics which has come up in the newer come up in the market and then if again the disease is not controlled with these drugs then we need a surgery of the large intestine in the later part is there any specific test to diagnose ulcerative colitis if we look at the test which can diagnose the ulcerative colitis no single test is the diagnostic so we have to look at the symptoms if a patient is watery diarrhea bloody stools malnutrition uh, weight loss and lower abdominal pain and we do the certain stool test stool test shows the blood in the stool and uh, stool calprotectin level if it's elevated and then we do based on the colonoscopy colonoscopy shows the continuous inflammation of the large intestine that is the diagnostic of uh, ulcerative colitis what complication can occur if left untreated if we left untreated the un patients of ulcerative colitis initial patient might have a only inflammation in the rectum if you suppose you left untreated then it it progress to a further level to a sigmoid colon to a to a ileum to a ascending colon so it becomes restrictive part to the pancolitis so if then the symptoms again increases the symptoms started from tenesmus to diarrhea to bloody diarrhea and then the patient develops the further malnutrition loss of protein level loss of albumin level of patient might develops the uh, uh, swelling in the feet if further untreated patient might develops the uh, 
structure level, structure in the intestine, patient develops the tumor of the uh, uh, large bowel and if further untreated patient develops the uh, anemia uh, and if keep on untreating patient may die because of this disease. Can be seen in patients of certain age group and genders. Ulcerative colitis has a bimodal presentation. Bimodal means you can see patients of uh, th third to four, second to third decade and six to seven decade. You can see these patients, these group of patients are more predisposed and you see these, this disease more commonly in uh, second to third decade and six to seven decade. If you look at the genders, genders is equal, uh, male and female are equally predisposed to this disease. Today, we have talked about the ulcerative colitis, which is a chronic inflammatory bowel disease of intestinal tract. What are the symptoms of uh, ulcerative colitis? What are the causes of this uh, ulcerative colitis? If we left untreated, what it can lead to, what complication it can cause, and what are the treatments available? Stay healthy, stay safe, stay informed. Namaste.